Another story getting plenty of buzz online today, the road to South Africa and the success and failure of England's women's team. Success in that they scored, failure, they didn't score enough. But these are the pictures from last night's 5-1 victory over Croatia. England fans are now turning their attention to 2010 and of course the World Cup. For fans in Finland though, supporting the women's team, it was not such a good night. Germany winning 6-2, the Germans beat us again to secure the European Championship Finals. Well, let's see what the blogs and bloggers make of it all. Uh, Joe Broadford is from fansfc.com and football ramble podcaster and comedian James Campbell is also here. So, gentlemen, what do we make of it all? Uh, let's deal with the women's game first of all. They played well. It was a lively game. It barely stopped, but yeah. not good enough on the day. Well, I think the thing we have to look at is the sort of, you know, the progress they've actually made. This is the first time they've been in a final. They've only been to a quarter-final before. And Germany haven't lost since, like, it's been about 300 years, I think, since the <laughs> German women's, women's team actually lost. So they've done very, very well to get there. And it's a sign that the, sort of, the women's game is growing, that there's been a lot sort of more interest in it. And it, I, I think it's a positive thing. It's obviously a sad ending to it, but, you know, onward and upward for them, I think. OK, they can only get better, right? Yeah, that's what I always say about women's football. But so far, they're not quite at the same level as men's football just yet. Although I have been known to watch the occasional game. Not the other night, unfortunately. OK, now how carried away should we be getting about England's prospects now for 2010? You know what? I'm actually getting carried away myself with it. <laughs> um, and that's a big surprise, because every year people tell me England are going to win the World Cup, and every year I tell them there's no chance. Well, not every year, surely. Well, there's every year there's a World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me out there. Yeah. But no, every time there's a World Cup, we always think we're going to win it. The same with European Championships, and we always get there or thereabouts and never quite, we're never quite good enough. But this time, with Capello in charge, who knows what might happen? I think, I think we've got a realistic chance. We've got good players. I'm a little bit worried about the goalkeeping position, but he was, he was OK. Uh, Green was OK against Croatia, so perhaps, perhaps we can do it. OK. Yeah. What, what are you worried about, if anything? Uh, well, if anything, I, I do think we need to be careful of getting carried away because Croatia, they're a good side, but they're not Germany, they're not Brazil. These are the sides we really need to be putting the shifts in against. And I, I think we, the, the positives are that England are playing very well and they're moving very well. There's competition for places. There's players like Theo Walcott, Joe Cole, possibly even Owen Hargreaves that are going to be coming back into the squad. So we'll be going there in a really, really strong position. Also, um, it's actually going to be quite cold in South Africa at that time, which is something a lot of people don't realise. It is their winter. There were players wearing gloves in the uh, Confederations Cup last Last year, so it could suit us, but I think we, we do need to be careful about getting carried away and not forget there's a lot of work to be done within the squad still. A lot of, lot of writing on this, as you can imagine, and people having their opinion. Everyone's got a feeling about it, haven't they? Football rants here. Capello remains calm, they say, after the World Cup qualification. He seems to be doing well, doesn't he? And that, that calm, presumably, is a lesson for us all, isn't it? Well, I think he rules with an iron fist. That's the impression I get. The players seem terrified of him. Even when they celebrate, they, they're quite cagey about how they celebrate with mm. Fabio Capello. And you can't blame him. He does look quite a tough guy, a tough character. And maybe he's got, no, I shouldn't say that, but maybe I think he might have some connections or people, <laughs> people that he knows that they're scared of. Who knows? But the, the players are in awe of him. And he's, yeah. he's got their respect. Somehow he's got their respect. Yeah, and uh, they, so the players team. are right. The managers are right. What can possibly go wrong? Uh, other teams, I think, as I said before. <laughs> that's it. it just really depends how we raise our game when it comes to those really, really crucial, important matches. Um, but okay. I, I can't wait. Listen, we've got plenty of time to talk about it some more, so we'll leave it there for tonight. Joe and James, thank you both very much indeed.